Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Ducky the Gamer back again with another video. Now, man, has it been a long journey for us to be where we are right now in the mobile community? So there's been a lot of problems, and there's been a lot of bumps, and there's been a lot of glitches and stuff like that. It's basically just been it's been a very unsmooth ride to get to where we are right now in terms of the mobile platform. But I think this update, in my opinion, is the biggest and the best update in the history of mobile. We got stats, we got crosshair editing. The game seems to be fixed from what I could tell. I played it for um, 30, 45 minutes this morning. It actually is like 7 in the morning. I woke up at 6 for this update. And overall, this is probably the most polished version of Fortnite Mobile I've ever seen. So huge round of applause to the devs. I know like two or three weeks ago, I uploaded a video basically just smashing you know Fortnite mobile for the game and everything like that so i am super excited to see the progress that this update has brought to the game but before this video guys does get underway uh two quick things one if you do use anyone support a creator code over the next i think it is two weeks you do get a free wrap it basically can go in a weapon it can go in a golf cart it can go on anything really a plane um so if you do want this wrap feel free to type in code ducky in the item shop and if you do end up using code ducky feel free to let me know in any form of social medias i try to at least say you know what's up if you do tweet something at me or DM me so hopping into the patch notes the first and probably the biggest thing of this entire thing is the stats stats has been the most requested thing in I don't know forever probably because it, it's the one thing mobile has never had that every other platform has had you know console PC everyone has had stats besides switch and mobile and that finally changed day with stats v2 so basically according to the patch notes stats v2 is the ability to track all of your play in one place and view it across all platforms it's pretty key because mobile literally just got it this morning um this includes the ability for mobile and switch players to view their in-game stats um so just going through it myself i will be making an entire separate video on my stats for you guys uh, but just a little sneak peek if you wanted to know and basically everyone already knows this I woke up to people tweeting this at me I do have the second most Fortnite mobile solo wins in the world this is kind of weird to say the second most wins in the world because I do play a lot of solos and I'm gonna be playing a lot more solos considering the fact that between fifth place and second place there is like a 15 win gap, so I need to increase my amount of solo wins. I think a lot of more people are going to be grinding wins now on. Um, but it is kind of weird to see that I have the second most mobile wins in the world, 802. I would have never guessed that. But I will be revealing all of my complete total stats for you guys, I think, in a later video. Um, but just going over to, what is it? I think it's just my profile. Going to your profile section, you will be greeted with your solo duo, squad, and LTM tab. Now, under these, you will see your wins, your top 10s, and your top 25s. It is kind of sad to see how many games I choked to the top 10s. It probably shouldn't be that high, but it's not too big of a deal overall. And I just realized that I have 845 solo wins here. But when I go to the leaderboards, for some reason, it says I have 802. I don't know where the missing 40 wins are. Maybe they're LTMs solo wins uh maybe that uh, i don't really play too much ltm um but for eliminations i have 16,500 in the solo category matches played 3,800. and when you head over to the ltm i think this is a combination of all of my games maybe it says 23,000 uh eliminations and 5.8k matches played so i think the matches played in the eliminations might be the total accumulation of all my matches played ever um for right now though we don't know or what our win rate i guess you could just do some simple math but if i do the simple math 845 divided by 3800 is around a 22 percent win rate it's probably on average i was thinking maybe like 25 th probably not 30 I'm not gonna go that crazy but i was probably thinking 25 percent win rate if you guys do want to calculate your win rate um your kd is going to be a little bit different i guess you can just do your eliminations divided by matches played so in that case i'm rocking like a 4 kd maybe like a 4.5 kd which is actually pretty good in my opinion so i don't really know how much longer i can touch on stats it's just one of the most requested things i've ever seen in my life i've been playing this video game for 10 months the amount of times i've been requested stats and the amount of time i've seen people be mad because stats have not been introduced is more than any other feature of any other video game i've ever played in my life so we're gonna go hop away from stats you guys could check out your own stats just by you know going through and you know basically exploring the section to get a full view of your stats i'm gonna be hopping into creative mode right now um to basically try to show you guys the new crosshair editing mode um, and also what they did end up fixing with building there was a pretty nasty build glitch all right guys so here we are in my creative mode so right off the bat i'm trying to emulate the build glitch i could almost do this like 100 percent of the time if you gave me builds and asked me to do the build glitch i literally had it down to a t i could perform this glitch 
without even trying, dude. It, it really sucked. I'm trying my absolute hardest right now. If you hold it down first and then switch to builds, I really haven't found the way to get the build glitch, which is good. It seems like they might have finally patched all forms of it because there were a few ways you could get the build glitch up and running. But as of right now, it seems like building is fixed. I mean, it was a huge issue. A lot of players could not play competitively like myself. Solo pop-up cups, any pop-up cup was a nightmare going into this. So that does seem like it has been fixed. But something recently the mobile community has been asking for a lot is crosshair editing. Now, crosshair editing, um, what it is, is, is basically this. You go to edit just like normally. Now, I can swipe with my finger if I would like to confirm it like normal but as you do see right above my crouch button there is something a little bit different it is in second edit button so if I press this edit button down and drag to the left you know up basically anywhere any tile holding this button down I will be able to edit it of course I'm going to reset to show you guys again if I tap it it does work the same exact way but a cool feature is you could also tap and in the same edit you can even use the crosshair editing so crosshair editing is really used for basically just fast man fast maneuvers like this if I want to do simple you know edits like this that I don't want to use my entire hand for basically because with the old style of editing you would have to click the edit button for me on an iPad, I would basically have to lift my entire hand off, press the button, and then go back and confirm. So it was really cumbersome. It was really time consuming. But with this, I've been practicing a little bit. Um, not too much. I still have to, you know, really perfect these uh, these edit towers. Um, but overall, it is nice, dude. It is really clean. I've not found a single glitch with this. Um, like I said, it's just a lot of practice. It ends up being muscle memory. But these edits, these window edits, like this is where this is going to excel. I would recommend if you guys aren't too comfortable um, using this full time, then that is completely fine. But for these little one tap edits that are super quick normally, or you know, say a door window edit, that is probably right there the hardest edit I could do on mobile or the most time consuming. And I could do it in maybe a second flat if I just practice it. But you know, I'm not going to go too crazy, too symphony on you guys right here. Um, just thought I'd let you know. And how to get this, actually, all you have to do is go to your HUD layout tool, drag down from the top, and it should be, I think, like right above one of these buttons. Mine is right here, right exactly under my uh, my zoom in button. So I'm actually going to make it a little bit bigger. So basically, why I've done that is because whenever I, um, you know, whenever I switch to my edits, what's going to happen is that uh, the aim button goes away. If I have out any gun, it'll instantly go away. So basically, I'm not really adding a button. Uh, you know, my gun's out, it'll be there. And then when my guns are away and the edit mode is out, I will have this button out. So it really isn't too far off from what my current HUD is. Just a little bit of a button replacement. Well, with every mobile update, things are not going to be fixed or things will remain broken. So this is a bug and it really is an unfortunate one. It's not as bad as the build glitch, I would say, but it is pretty nasty. So if you press your build button and then you press something on the hop bar at the exact same time, uh, what will happen is your builds will be put away. It's like 50%. You have to basically be on time with your uh, with your cancellation. I'm not trying to cancel. I'm just pressing the build and then the hop bar button at the same time. Even if I'm pressing something that's not there. Let's see if I do that. So it has to be like a, a slot. If I press something that's in a slot and build at the same time, it will be put up. But it's really the build glitch was the worst thing out of all this. And now that that's gone, it is much more manageable to have other glitches in the game. But when you have so many glitches at the same time, it really becomes hard to play. Just because the game does not feel smooth or consistent at all. But one last thing dealing with building and editing is that it used to be whenever you would press your edit button, for some reason your edit button would like drag. You could basically edit through your edit button. It was kinda, it's kind of hard to explain. If you don't know what I'm talking about, if I were to basically press this button, the tile under the edit button would edit as well. So if I'm going to do a window and for some odd reason... Okay, that's weird. Okay. New glitch? New... Okay, maybe maybe editing is a little bit goofed. So right now, I'm, I'm just going through this, guys. I'm learning this as you are. So I'm, I'm having my crosshair over the middle tile. I press the edit button, press the, the right tile, the very far right tile in the middle, and it edits both of them. It is interesting what's going on. I don't know. Honestly... Editing, having bugs, and editing like this, I haven't, I really just noticed, so, uh, maybe that's when you use touch at the same time as crosshair editing, I'm not really too familiar on what the heck is going on, but all in all, this update is extremely polished, guys, it is actually insane how polished this update is, there are a few glitches that were left over, but considering we got stats, considering we, you know, know our stats, our wins for, from the past 10 months, I think it makes up, and also crosshair editing, the build glitches fixed. There's, too, there's way too many positives about this update. 
to think about the negatives right now. Um, but I did want to point them out in case you guys didn't know about them and were a little bit confused because I just figured these out and there is one old uh, glitch left in. If you do want to practice the new crosshair editing, I will leave this link down to TSM Slappy's edit course in the description. It is a really nice and basically like user friendly course. It's not hard at all. I'll also leave a link to his Twitter down below if you've never seen how to run this. I've been practicing this course on PC and on mobile ever since this came out. Basically, it's been my go-to edit course. And crosshair editing is something that's going to take a long time for me to get used to and me to practice. Uh, so same for you guys. Don't expect to come out the gate with, you know, crosshair editing skills like a god because I don't know anyone who's going to be good off the bat with crosshair editing. It really is just going to take a lot of practice, but the builds really smooth right now everything in this game just feels nice which is a good sight to behold so once again guys if you are going to buy anything in the item shop feel free to use code ducky even if you're not going to buy anything even if you just put in the code you will um you will get a free wrap so free stuff is good and a side note on the mention of getting something for free you can actually go to the item shop and gift something to your friend so basically what happened this is a free item in the item shop i'm just going to go ahead and gift it to face thieves maybe we hit a roadblock. Somebody already owned it. So somebody owned this. You basically just have to go through your friends list until you can get somebody who owns it. Let me just go. Let me go bail. Bail, do you have it, bud? Let me see. He probably has it. I don't know. So it is free. The only way for you to get it is for somebody to gift it to you. But basically, I'm pretty sure what's going to happen is I'm going to go through my entire friends list, try to find one person who has it, and then it'll finally go through. Um, so I just want to let you guys know it is free. It does not cost you anything. I think, yep, there it is, David, enjoy your glider, I guess. If you don't have a lot of friends to get this, I don't really know of any ways around it. Maybe add people in the comment section below, I'm not really sure. Um, but I hope you guys did enjoy this video once again. Make sure to use code Ducky in the item shop if you do want a free wrap or if you do want to buy any of these things. It means a lot considering this is my full-time job now making content for you guys. So I do appreciate all the support with that. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I will be uploading a video very shortly on my complete and total career stats for Fortnite because like I said, I haven't exposed it to anyone yet. All I've shown is my solo wins because everyone else basically knows that if they do check the leaderboards. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It's been your boy Ducky the Gamer, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.